Just gonna just commentate over it and just mess about in Zetsu Bonoshima, really. Well, not really mess about, just kind of play with randoms. It's basically just a me playing Zetsu Bonoshima. The thing I've noticed about um, public matches, I want to say this. So, in public matches, it seems like it's kind of like stopped becoming a public match in a sense. Like, or a co-op kind of match. So you, it's essentially what what this game is now in Zetsu Bonoshima. It's basically four solo games all going at the same time and in the same game. And there's a, like an added challenge where you have to revive people. That's kind of to me what's happened to Zetsu Bonoshima and in Zetsu Bonoshima specifically, as well as Shadows of Evil. Really, well, not really Shadows of Evil because in Shadows of Evil you can um, it speeds up the rituals if more players are in there. But in um, Zetsu Bonoshima, there's nothing really you can do as a group and as a co-op effort. So it seems like basically public matches have just basically become one full solo match. And you're just faced with the challenge to survive with more zombies on the lower rounds and to revive people as well. So that's just something I wanted to touch on because that's kind of what it, this has actually become. Oh, well, there we go. We've got the shield. Take that shield part. Yeah, so... I'm not, I'm not really bothered about it, public matches. I'm, I'm happy for public matches to be like that, because I kind of like that challenge of having to revive people and doing extra stuff. But it would be nice to kind of see some more public matches kind of be co-op again. I'm sure on the PC, it's a lot easier for public matches to be very co-op situated, because please be quick revive. Okay, so quick revive is going to be in the bunker, which kind of sucks a lot. It really... I actually, no, that does suck a lot. All right, let's open this, because I have the points. We can go and um, get the power on. I got a liquid divinium just then, which is awesome because I want liquid divinium quite badly, to be honest. I'm very low on my gobble gums. I have one perkaholic at the moment. Got very lucky to get it, but I have one perkaholic, and um, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, I don't really have very good gobble gums right now um, because when a new map releases, you know, I'm just using all my gobble gums, trying to use them as much as I can. There's the round done. I'm trying to go and turn on the power. I'm not sure if these guys know what they're doing. Of course, I've been playing a lot of Zetsu Bonoshima, so I actually know exactly what to do now. And it's a bit early to, for me to be doing that. Actually, to be honest, the map's been out for what, like two weeks now? No, no, two weeks? Yeah, the map's... Zetsu Bonoshima's been out for two and a, two and weeks and one day, which is crazy. I did not realise Zetsu Bonoshima had been out for that long. Well, there you go, the more you know. Um, So, yeah, Zetsu Bonoshima's... Kind of, we're nearly in t Wow. That's very interesting. Yeah, so I've played quite a bit of Zetsu Bonoshima, but definitely haven't played this map as much as I played Der Eisendrak, because Der Eisendrak was an absolutely incredible map when it first came out. Zetsu Bonoshima, it's alright, but it's a bit... It, I'm not the biggest fan of the setup. The setup is so tedious, and hopefully... Um, hopefully we don't have to deal with that kind of setup in a map in the future. I'm going to have to buy the VMP now because VMP is a great gun as well. Uh, let's try and take this Thrasher out. Now with the Thrasher, I believe if you go down and the Thrasher like takes you down, he actually eats you. And then someone has to kill him in order for you to survive being eaten. So there's Quick Revive. We need to go and turn on power so I can go and purchase that. Um, hopefully these guys will come with me. I'm not sure how long it takes. In multiplayer, see if it takes a even longer amount of time. But yeah, look, it's round nine, and we haven't even got power on yet. That kind of worries me in zombies right now. Like, is the fact that that's the norm kind of in normal games? Actually, no, that's a lie. It's normally round six, seven when I get power on when I'm playing um, solo. But in a public match, round nine, and that's. I mean, if you're working together, it would be a lot shorter because I'm pretty darn sure that people have completed the Easter egg four players with round nine. Or on round 9, which is crazy. That is such an early round to complete the Easter egg on with four players. I, did, I thought it would be harder with four players. And that's why I thought when I got it on round 10 solo, that, that was, like, insane. And, you know, it was unbeatable. But um, I guess people would beat it with four players. So, fair enough. But I still have the solo record. Just so, come on, come on, guys. I still have that record. Uh, looks like I'm going to get power on now. Yep, there we go. The machine's unclogged. Let's uh, grab the part. And jump up here. Go and turn on the power. Obviously, my sprint still isn't working. There we go. Power's on. Uh, I'm running low on ammo, as I always am. That is also something I've known about Zetsubo no Shima. Always running out of ammo. Like, I'm constantly running out of ammo. It'd be so much nicer if you got points from those uh, zombie... What is that? That looks weird. 
Ah, it's a grenade. Get out of it. Yep. <laughs> That looks, I don't know, there's a lot of like graphical issues as well with this map, and the fact that I haven't fixed it yet is a bit ridiculous. Right, we're on round 10. I haven't gone down yet. They've both gone down twice. I've managed to revive two so far, so could be worse. Let's just keep playing Zetsubono Shima. My goal is dead. Oh, we got a down. Let's go and revive that guy. Now, that guy's been kind of like mixed between AFK, and I really want to know what those symbols, like the color means when someone goes down. I would try and revive you, but my sprint is... Nope, no complaints. I said I wouldn't complain, so I can't complain about my sprint not working, but... Alright, it's the most infuriating thing, especially when playing zombies, is when this ha when this ha kind of thing happens. I need to buy the CUDA, because I'm running low on ammo. That guy went into the operation room. Nope, I'm not dying here. Let me revive you quickly, and then run off to the other guy and go and revive him. Looks like we'll be okay today, and um, yeah, I've got you guys. Cool. Alright, so, that was a little bit of a worry. I can burn guy... No, what even did I just say? I can go and buy a quick revive right now, which is good. So let's go do that. Uh, there's a guy coming out. Okay, he's gone down again. I'm pretty sure he's not here at this rate. The fact that he's just gone down again. Yeah, I'm. I'm. What? I'm so used to having double tap that I just thought I'd killed him. Look, your friend. Your friend is. You're letting your friend down, mate. You're letting your friend down. Right, there we go. There's a revive. Yeah, no, he's not playing. Like what? Why? Why be AFK when playing zombies? I should probably look after him, but I kind of want to go do my own thing, you know? Watch out. Got him. God damn it. I'm not actually, you know, I'm not even going to bother with that guy. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep reviving him, sure, but there's no point of bothering with him right now or just trying to protect him. I did that under Isenjark and the guy went AFK for so long. It was just boring as hell. I mean, it was pretty easy to protect him because into Isenjark he had the bows and I had the lightning bow, so it was very easy to protect him. But it was really boring. So. I mean, I'm just going to keep playing Sprint Plus. Really need to work on that. Really need to get my Sprint fixed. Because it's practically impossible to play. All right, HVK. Come here. The HVK is a great... And um, we got Spiders. All right, that's fine. Okay, no. I need a new controller. So bad. This Sprint is the most frustrating thing ever. The fact that I'm complaining so much. Stop. I need to stop complaining. But it's just so annoying. I want to be able to sprint. I'm basically, yeah, no, this is. Hmm. Hmm. Where can you get? I don't even know. Because the the only problem I'm complaining is is and like why I'm worried about getting a new controller is because they're so expensive. I don't see they're like fifty pounds just for one controller. I don't understand why they're so expensive. Oh my god, there's a lot of spiders. That guy's gone down. So a lot of spiders are gonna be coming out of here now. The other guy seems like he's doing alright. I'm not gonna let this guy die. That's that's my new goal for this game because it's a bit of a boring one. Um, the people left. Setsumo Nishima, public matches. Can't really do a lot on it. But yeah, my new goal is to not let this guy die and not let myself die as well because there are a million spiders here. There we go. There's the max ammo. Let's go and revive this guy. Then get the max ammo even though he probably has all of his ammo because he's not fucking playing. <laughs> but it's fine. We're on round 12. The goal was round 15. So if I manage to actually get there, that's fine. Uh, I'll go get that max ammo now. I hope. Yep, he's just literally not playing. Fuck that guy. I'm not. I'm, nah, screw it. I can't be bothered to just sit about, sit about in the bunker and try and revive him. It's just so boring. Why go AFK? I'm pretty sure he's like with this guy as well. I mean, he might have like food or something, but don't start a game with zombies. Yeah, no, screw that guy. Don't start a game with zombies if you're gonna have to like go and eat. That's just like it's just so pointless. Or I don't know. I don't know what could be going on with that guy, but literally, it's just the most pointless thing to start a game with zombies and not actually, like, just participate. And just... Unless for, like, reasons he didn't see, that's fine. Like, let, for example, he didn't know he had dinner. Or, for example, he didn't, um... He didn't know that he would have to go for a shit. It's just... <laughs> that's fair enough. I mean, going for a shit, you can't really help it, and you don't know when it's gonna happen. But, uh, realistically... Plus, don't start zombies in a public match if you're not going to actually play. Thank you very much. Hopefully we can get through round 12. I can go and get um, speed cola. No, I want to get stamina. Yeah, stamina. Why would I want speed cola? I have fast mags. Oh my god. It's boiling in my room right now. Oh, I forgot I was in the middle of a round. I was shooting spiders, so I thought it was a spider round. I really need double tap if uh, over stamina, but I'm here now, so I might as well get stamina up. Hopefully stamina up will actually make my character be able to sprint because of this shitty controller. <laughs> I'm so mad right now. No! Oh my god, this is just... I'm, I'm very close to death. But I'm doing pretty well, actually. I'm holding this area off quite well. You wouldn't expect it. Ooh! Ooh! 
I've just thought of a good challenge idea. <laughs> but this setup for that would be so, so, so long. Especially because since in challenges, you know, I can't get Perkaholic and stuff. So the setup for that would be incredibly long. But it is a good idea, and um, I might have to try it in the future. Alright, by stamina up now. Now we can uh, sprint all over the place and run super quick. Don't know what I just got because it doesn't appear for some reason. Got another Michael Jackson zombie. The HBK is such a good gun. It's just helping us like move around this map so well. Oh, there we go. We got a guy that's gone down now. We can actually revive him because we should revive him because he's actually playing. Unlike the other guy, he wasn't playing. Oh, there's a Frasher. Hello. Hello, Frasher. Is that a Max? Good, because I wanted my HBK back. Okay, so where is this Frasher? Oh, he's inside of him. Of course, I forgot that happened. No, I, I didn't forget that. I mean, I, I don't know. I've, I've never played public matches, so I knew it happened, but I kind of just forgot about it. Wow, how much ammo does this guy want to bloody take off me? Come on, there we go. Kill the Frasher. Kill these guys, get a revive in there, and we're golden. Good stuff. There, see, there we go. We actually got a genuine revive in there. So, I'm happy. I'm happy with how this went, because we got a genuine revive. Where is the other... Just missed double tap, didn't I? Are you still not playing? Dude. 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 God's sake, why? Why be here if you're not going to play? Just leave the game. Alright, there we go. We've got double tap now, so we are actually quite far into this game. Could potentially just leave this as one big long video. Uh, because I'm pretty sorted. Alright, fine. You know what? This guy's in a more optimal position now, other than the bunker. My goal is just keep reviving him. Or, like, d let him make sure we can actually survive around with him down, like, not even playing. This guy's come into my area. What are you doing? That is the one rule of zombies. You do not go into someone else's area. Oh my god, oh my good lord, it's real. This is... What has that guy just done? Yep, oh, I'm down. Let's see if this guy can clutch up, because um, at this rate he has a locust, and that's it. I'm not too sure. Let's watch. Oh, can he get through this gap? And there we go. Right, so, as you can see, that summarises Black Ops 3 public matches. A guy going AFK, a guy leaving the lag earlier in the game, the lack of progress, nine revives... And that was Etsubo no Shima on a public matches, and I'm most likely never going to be doing this again. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, then leave a like, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!